What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in Mr. Pokemon's uh, uh, neck of the woods right here, because in our last episode, we managed to capture a red Gyarados, and we all know what happens after that. You know, we got a red scale. It's pretty cool. Awesome. And all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and see what happens when you get a red scale. Now, if you go to Mr. Pokemon after obtaining, obtaining the red scale, you'll be like, hmm, a red scale. What's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare. I, I want it. Draven, would you care? Would you care to trade it? I can offer this experience share I got from Professor Oak. As many of you guys already know, yes, I do want that experience share because we need to train our Pokemon. Yes, we need to train our Pokemon as fast as possible. Now, on screen, I did run into Entei, try to capture it. Just for shits and giggles, I knew I wasn't going to capture him. Uh, but that's actually very, very good that we actually found him. That way, we can actually locate him later on uh, in our whole uh, in our whole thing right here. So uh, let's see. We're going to give uh, the experience shares to Cinder, and we're going to be moving on right here. Of course, people keep on texting me while I'm recording. That's probably one of the most annoying things that can happen right here. And I do have six repels, so I'm going to use all of them. And that way I can get back home now. Let's see, my Pokemon are still injured from the last few battles. And here is another one! Look at that. We found ourselves Raikou. Or Raikou. However you guys like to call it. Now this is the second legendary Pokemon. Le legendary beast that's popped up in the last few minutes. Of course, look at this. I, I won't be able to capture this guy right now. Look at this. Great ball. Go. And bam. Found Raku, or Raikou, or whatever you like to call it, I don't care, really, really don't care, but yes, that's two legendary Pokemon, two legend, two of the legendary beasts, they come out, and, well, let's see, I wonder if I can just go all the way down, hold on, oh wow, I can't even do that, okay, so, okay, there we go, look at this Pokedex, all the way down, all the way down, and yes, both legendary dogs or beasts are on the Pokedex, and now, it doesn't really matter. We can actually find them uh, sooner than rather than later, and all that stuff. I do have a method on trying to capture those Pokemon, and just like many other people do, uh, we'll be doing that later on once I actually has like you know, I actually have uh, uh, enough experience and enough Pokeballs and all that crud. But if what if we were to capture right there, like the first first Pokeball, straight out of luck, you know, that would be great. Make me legendary. Make a few people question. Did you really capture him? You are playing the VBA and all that stuff. You know, that kind of stuff. Not the VBA, but this Mune. And, well, let's see. We're taking on a level 3 Pidgey. Don't want to battle that. I kind of need to... Damn it! Come on, just leave leave me alone. Let me live my life. <sighs> Freaking Metabot. Okay. So, as I'm recording this, it is, a, it is a, let's see, September 12th. It has been a full month since I've actually played a Pokemon Heart Gold, and for many reasons that was that, you know, I started up Pokemon X again, and I kind of got a little carried away with the whole Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Now that I've recorded about, mm, roughly about 40 episodes, yeah, 40 episodes because it's so friggin' easy, guys, that it kind of feels like every day you'll actually get a Pokemon video, which will kind of actually happen from here on now because, well, what else do we have to do? Especially when there's a god dang pandemic going on. That's right. 2020 will always be known. Really? Oh, yeah. Level 10, uh, level 10 EV. And here we have a Stantler. Ugh. God. Now, the only reason why I have Relic up front is because, uh, well, that's going to take care of, oh wow, seriously. So, well, the reason why I have Stantler, or not Stantler, but Relic up front is because I want to evolve it in, uh, well, if you have it up front, if you actually have it up front, uh, like the first uh, on your team, it, happiness will actually raise. Now, going to evolve it into Naspion, or, you know, going to evolve it into an Espeon, it requires its happiness to be at an all-time high, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here, just trying to make this Pokemon happy as possible. Now, fainting does not help. It actually uh, defeats the purpose of all that stuff, so Relic is feeling better. Yes, I will take care of Relic a little bit better. Okay, time to GTFO. 
Here we are in Edgar Tech City, and we're going to be going back to Mahogany because something is a foot with a big old foot and all that stuff. I don't know. Big old foot. Now, it does sound like I'm a little irritated. Now, today is Saturday, guys. It has been a very, very long day. Um, let's see. Long, long day. I... Yeah. Believe it or not, this whole thing right here, me doing this Pokemon walkthrough, is a bit of a stress reliever and all that stuff. So, yeah. Kind of a kind of a one of those dog gangling days that really stresses you out. So hopefully it will get better. And god dang it with these freaking repels. Easily irritable and all that crud. So let's go! Come on! Let's go to Mahogany. Now, let's see. I am planning on doing this uh, walkthrough three days in a or well actually let's see. One, two, three. Yeah. I am trying to do this walkthrough like at, at least three days. Uh, now instead of two over the weekend, I know that many of you guys want to see a little bit more on Pokemon, uh, on Pokemon Heart Gold and all that stuff. So uh, that's really what we're gonna do. That's uh, to speed up the process. Because remember, when I played Pokemon Soul Silver for the second time, yeah, that thing wasn't a, uh, yeah, that didn't end so quickly. So here we are in Mahogany Town, and of course, Lance told us that there's something going on right here inside this uh, weird shop. That's not the shop. <sighs> Okay, let's go to the shop. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be switch training. And I, yeah, I would, I would be giving Relic the experience here, but he has a soothe bound. Now here we are inside the shop, and Lance is like Dragonite Hyper Beam. Damn, Dragonite, you scary. What took you long, sir? What's what took you so long, Draven? Just as I thought. What is it? that strange radio signal is coming from here? Really? Oh damn! And well, he's intimidating him, and the stairs are right here. And of course, the clerk right here is just noticing it. Draven, we should split up and to check this place. I'll go first. Well, here comes Dragonite. And what do you have to say? Ugh! You found the secret stairway. How did you get? How did you do that? I thought I was. Uh, it was well camouflaged. Nah, it's not well camouflaged at all. Okay, so as we all know, those Persian statues are cameras. You step in front of them before you press the button. Yes, you will get it. You will get attacked by Team Rocket members. Same teams every single time. As you can see, it's turning on an alarm, and bam! Hey, tr intruder alert! They will be attacking you. Alrighty, so here we go. Team Rocket Grunt wants you to battle. Coming out with a drowsy, and well, let's see, do I have a move that can, no, I do not have a move, I thought I had bite right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out, let's go with Cinder right here, take care of this business with Cinder, my good old buddy Cinder, look at that, and here comes a confusion attack, not so powerful, let's finish this guy off with a flame wheel, and there goes drowsy, hell yeah, okay. And he's coming out with the Zubat, so let's go back to Relic, get some more experience points, try and evolve it and all that stuff. Eventually it will evolve. Now the best part about getting a, an Eevee in this game right here is that it doesn't come in at level 20, it actually comes in at level 5, so it gives you enough time to actually, you know, give it enough happiness and all that stuff. So here we are confused, come on Fluff Bolt, get it, Thundershock, for the win, that's it, that's right, look at that. Okay, alrighty. So that's one guy down, and here's the second one. It's my turn. There's no escape. Okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. Whatever you say. So here we go into the Team Rocket Grunt wanting to battle us, coming with his Zubat right here. And, well, I'm gonna be going straight for the next Pokemon. Let's go with Fluffolt again. We're gonna get some. We're gonna beat these guys some. And we're gonna win some. Look at that. Look, look at this. Thundershock for the win. This Zubat had no chance. Alrighty. And, well, more uh, more HP for us. And he will be coming out with a Grimer. Now, I said in the last episode that maybe, just maybe, we might need a Psychic type Pokemon. Well, I just realized, yeah, the Psychic type Pokemon right there is Relic. Eventually, it's just, uh, we're gonna have to wait a little. So let's go to Hercules right here. Let's get some. It's about to evolve, or not. How does it. How is it about to evolve? It's about to grow a level. So let's go with an Aerial Ace right here. And, well, 
It's gonna mud slap us. Trying to, well, screw with our accuracy, but luckily for us, Aerial Ace, powerful, and it won't miss. And Hercules grows to level 23. Coming out with a Radita. Let's go back to Relic right here. And, uh, alrighty. Okay, let's see what you can do, Radita. You're gonna do nothing because it I'm going back to Hercules. And here comes that bite attack. Not so effective. Why? Because Brick Break is about to smash you into pieces. Look at that. Radita defeated. And there we go. Surveillance cameras, you keep on, uh, yeah. We're gonna keep on turning on that switch if you keep on crossing that thing. So we're only gonna be battling two. Now, if you guys wanna be the overachiever and uh, train your Pokemon up, then yeah, cross those lines. But yeah, that's not what we're gonna be doing right here. We have, uh, we got shite to do. So it's very, very easy for us to actually get to the guy right here. Let's go right here. Now, another thing too, if you cross that little, uh, or those little panels right there, they are booby-trapped with, uh, what was it called, uh, with Electrode, Voltorbs, Grimers. Yeah, those Pokemon right there. Okay. This was once a, hun a ninja hideout. There are traps to confound you, or there are traps to confound intruders like you. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get it. Scientist Greg wanting to come out with a Megamite. It's easy. Let's go with Cinder right here. Alrighty, okay, and uh, well, luckily for us we bought Par uh, Paralysis Heals because, uh, yeah, we ain't taking this crap anymore. And there comes a Sonic Boom, but here comes the Flame Boom. Look at that. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And he's gonna be coming out with another Magnemite, so let's go back to Relic. We're gonna be Switch Battling, guys. A lot of Switch Battling, and... Well, let's go ahead and switch to Hercules since it is a fighting type Pokemon too. And there comes that Sonic Boom, automatic 20 points. Get that Brick Break. There it is. Say goodbye to Megamite. Alrighty, and Relic grows to level 14. And there goes Cinder with level 27. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just destroy this guy with a Megamite, or with our uh, Hercules right here. Okay, look at that. So easy. And he's like, I see. Alrighty. So let's move on right here. Now, if we press this right here, it's a secret switch. The red switch is flashing in a suspicious manner. Will you press this? Yes, I will. And yes, the surveillance is off. And we grab this, we get ourselves a guard spec. Kind of like a, well, kind of like a mist attack right there. You won't be affected by any kind of status effects. So let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. Again, I got equipped with some of the, uh, some of the stuff that we need, just in case we get, you know, status effects or anything like that. And, well, let's go. Right here. Eevee's following me. Now, it's kind of funny. I do have, uh, what was it? There is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and all that stuff, and... <laughs> some of you guys complained about that, like, hey, you know, you should have played Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, it's a little bit better. It's the same game, guys. It's just a different Pokemon. That's all there is, but I do love Pikachu. Eevee, on the other hand, it's a very cool Pokemon for Eeveelutions and all that crud. And here we found ourselves a Nugget, pretty good. And, well, there's a there's a panel right there, which we won't go to. Now, here we are in the bottom floor right here, and we will be finding Lance with his Dragonite. And he's going to be like, are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give him some of my medicine. Yeah, I always forget at this point that he heals our Pokemon automatically. And yes, we will be giving it our all for our Pokemon and Pokemon nature and all that crud. So, let's move on right here. Now, there is a trainer right there. What should we do? We should just uh, move over right here. Nah. Okay, let's go battle some Pokemon trainers like this guy. You rotten little pissed! Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Going up against another Team Rocket Grunt, and he will be coming out with a Venonat. It's not so scary. So, I am not battling that Pokemon. Okay, so let's go back to Cinder right here. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. And of course, I'm going to be confused. But guess what? I am going to be hitting myself. And look at that. Yeah. Screw me, huh? <laughs> Come on! Flame Wheel. For the win, yes sir, look at that, okay. 
And, well, we're gonna get poisoned. And he will be coming out with another Venonat, so let's go back to Relic right here. Now... Yeah, we could be screwing ourselves over just a little bit just because we have, uh, we're switch training. Pokemon will take advantage of our stats and all that crud, but guess what? We're gonna be going straight for the Ice Shard. I'm okay with it, guys. I am well equipped every single time, and well, this guy right here is just gonna keep on uh, draining our power, so let's go with the Surf Attack. Look at that. Super fast, super swift, and we're getting our experience points. Yes! Okay. Alright, now, please tell me I have an antidote in, like, in this equipment bag. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so, I am saved. Alright, Cinder, don't say I didn't do anything for you. Let's move on right here, and... Well, we're gonna be moving on right here and battling this guy. Okay, what do you have to say, oh boy? The door won't open? Well, duh! It has to have a password that only Team Rocket knows. You a-hole. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers right here. He's coming out with his Golbat. So now right here, I'm kind of screwed a little because Golbat likes to screw around with your uh, with your move or with your stats and all that stuff. And there comes that Bite Attack. Let's go with a Thundershock. Come on. And there you go. You're paralyzed, you a-hole Golbat. Look at that. Come on. Go again. Thundershock for the win. Suck it, Golbat. Alrighty, look at that. I'm feeling good, feeling great. Everybody's getting points. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's see. <laughs> I'm just a Team Rocket Grunt. I don't know the password. Too bad for you. You asshole. Okay, so let's move on right here. See if we can actually find something. And, well, there's Lance, and he's just... He just... Yeah, stomped the mud hole on that guy. He's gonna be like, Draven! In order to unlock the door to the radio transmitter, you need the voice of a certain person. The name of the person is Petrell, the Team Rocket Executive. I found out, or I find out that he's hiding in their leader's office. Unfortunately though, that room is also protected with the password. Draven, we need the password to their leader's uh, office first. Really? Man, that sounds like a mission and a half right there. Okay, so this guy got his butt kicked, so he, he's... Yeah, we're not gonna have to worry about that guy. And, well... There are some items right here I kinda wanna grab before I start battling everybody. Look at that. Grabbing this item right here. Here we found the TM-49 Snatch. And it it's in the name right there. You know, your Pokemon gets attacked. Bam, snatched. Let's see... Let's see, is there anything right here? No, we're going to be finding some more Pokemon trainers. Um, okay, so to speed up this whole process, I kind of have to do this now because, yeah. Okay, so we're going to take the Soothe Bell away from uh, Relic. And we're going to actually, hold on just a sec. Yeah, we're going to give that experience share to Relic. That way it can grow levels. I'm pretty sure that, you know, it will be happy by the time at, like, a, at a decent level and all that stuff. So let's go back to where the heck is it? Uh, right here. The experience share, let's give that to Relic right here. And nobody else needs help, happiness right now. And yeah, okay, so that is that. Let's go right ahead and just swipe the floor with everybody. So let's go. Let's do this. Bring it. What you got to say, homeboy? I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by our experiment! Man, what kind of a person is that? I don't know, but here he is. Scientist Mitch coming out with his ditto. And we actually have to be careful for this guy because it will can it will transform and look at that, it is into a pool of lava. So we're gonna dig right here. Hopefully it doesn't find out that secret. And good god he found out. Jeez. Alright, we're gonna have to do this again. Come on! God dang it! Okay, well... Fuck me, huh? Yeah. Okay, so he took out my best Pokemon. Let's go with Nessie. Now you done it! Let's go surf. You butthole. Okay. Alright, here we go, surf attack. See, now that... That could be a, a, a good reason to get yourself a Ditto in this is cool because Relic is learning Growl, do not want to learn it. And look at that, Scientist Mitch has been defeated 
And well, now, let's see, do I have a revive here? Come on, please tell me I have a revive. Balls, do not have a revive. Please tell me there's a, <laughs> a berry here that will uh, awaken my Pokemon. Damn it, nobody, okay, so, kind of shot myself in the foot right there. Okay, Toxic Batman for the win right here. And let's see, we're gonna grab ourselves an X special. Definitely a uh, nice item right there to have. And this one right here, a protein. Man, I really wish there was a rare candy here somewhere. That way I could uh, grow levels right here. So let's go ahead and see this. You're challenging me to a battle? <laughs> You're nuts. But you have guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you the password to the boss's room. Wow. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, another battle, and it's a Team Rocket Grunt coming with his Raticade, and for the first time in quite some time, Toxic Batman returns to the screen right here. Well, let's go with a wing attack. Let's start him off with a full with him, and yeah, that was pretty easy right there. Very, very easy. Okay, alright, so what is the password again? Password to the, uh, password to the boss's door? Raticate Tail. But if you don't have both passwords... <laughs> Dick. Alright, so let's move on right here. And, well, let's see. Well, there is a person right here. I used to work for Self, but now I run research for Team Rocket. A metal some child like you needs to be punished. You don't say. Alrighty, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle. Name Ross. And, well, two poison type Pokemon. One leaves. With a wing attack, and here comes that smoke screen, lowering our accuracy. And, here we go again. Another wing attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And he'll be coming out with a coughing. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight to Nessie. Nessie always does the job right here. So here we go. Surf attack for the win. That's right. How does it feel to fail? And Relic is growing levels now. Okay. No thanks to no switch battling and all that stuff. Now, defeat that guy. That's good. Now, but talk to this person. Do I know the password? Maybe. But no weakling's going to get it. You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle against a female Team Rocket Grunt, and she is coming out with her Ekans. And uh, yes, we are lowered in attack right here. So let's go wing attack. Nearly beats Ekans right here. And well, there's that Leer attack that we don't like. So let's go again, wing attack for the win. Yeah, buddy, okay. And it coming out. Weighing in at 42 pounds, Gloom. Well, Gloom, you're about to get this wing attack right here. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. So the next password happens to be Slowpoke Tail. Let's see. Yeah, the password to the boss room is Slowpoke Tail, but it's useless unless you have two passwords. Already got the other one. No problem whatsoever. So let's move on right here. I'm hoping that's a revive, maybe? I don't know. Probably. Maybe. I don't even know, guys. So let's just move on. We, we got shite to do, and well, here we are in the, the next floor of the Team Rocket floor. As you can see, there are electrodes right there, uh, charging up that transmitter, and well, we are going to be doing our business right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that transmitter. It's freaking huge. Look at those electrodes. Wow. Okay. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, a kid. I don't really like this, but eliminate you I must. Okay, alrighty. Let's go. Here we go, another Team Rocket Grunt wanting to battle us. I got a Toxic Batman because it is awesome. Here we go, Wing Attack does the trick. And that's not a lot of experience points, but guess what? Yeah, that, that's how they made this game and stuff. Look at that. Another Wing Attack. And, well, Zubat coming out. Well, let's go ahead and switch out to a Fluff Bolt right here. Okay, Fluff Volts, you know what to do. 100,000 watts of electricity coming up. Although I don't, I don't think that's what it is, but still it's something. And, well, everybody's getting experience points, and yes, you knew you lose, man. You didn't even put some effort into that. Oh, wow. I got wiped out on the last mission by a kid, too. When we were abducting a Pokemon, this kid with long red hair and mean-looking eyes just whooped me. Wow. I wonder who that could be. I don't know. So, here we are in uh, the HQ, and well, we're going to be going right here first, because we're looking for items. Lots and lots of items, and we're here they are. Here's one item that we can actually find. 
And here we found ourselves a TM46, which is Thief. Awesome. And, well, let's move on right here. Let's get this. We can do this. For America. And we are getting to the boss's office. And before we do anything, somebody pauses us. And it's this homeboy right here. Silver. Da -da 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 -da. So you're messing with them again. Hm. You must really like Team Rocket so much. Tell me, who is the guy in the cave who used Dragon-type Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. It's what the, he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious that I lost to, ble to a bleeding heart like him. <laughs> I don't have time for, uh, for the likes of you. Really, man, you're going to be pushing me like that? You know, if this was me in real life, you would have he would have caught these hands. All of them. Anywho, flipping them off and uh, grabbing this little item right here. And it's an Ultra Ball. God, man. Should have left me a revive. All right. Open the door. We're going to be using both passwords. And look at that. We're inside. And this guy is looking like Giovanni right here. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. So you are Draven. Me? You don't know who I am. It is me, Giovanni, the majestic Giovanni himself. <laughs> nope. He doesn't call himself majestic. Huh? I don't sound anything like that, Giovanni. I don't even look like Giovanni. How come? I worked so hard to mimic him. And look at that, it's Petrell. I am I am a Team Rocket executive. You must be trying to sneak into the radio transmitter room. Well, that's not going to happen. That room is protected with a special password. The password is Hail Giovanni. Surprised to hear it from me? Knowing the password won't help you, though. The door won't open unless I say the password. It only reacts with my voice. Okay. Let's do this. Another battle going up against Petrell and a Team Rocket executive. And, well, his Pokemon are going to be something. So, fully evolved Pokemon versus its pre-evolved form. Look at that. Wing attack. Almost takes this guy out, but look at it. We're going to get confused. No problem. Let's go with the bite attack. Come on. That's right. Bite attack does the trick. Look at that. Okay, and Relic growing to level 17, which is great. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Hercules. Yeah, bud. Okay. Hercules, you know what to do, man. All you got to do is aerial ace him. Look at that. Aerial ace does the trick. Here comes a smoke cream. Uh, smoke screen, not smoke cream. And there we go again with another aerial ace for the win. And he'll be coming out with a Raticate. I am going to stay put right here because I just realized I got a fighting type Pokemon right here. So let's go with a Brick Break. Here comes Hyper Fang. Nearly takes his out, but here comes that Brick Break. Takes out Raticate. That's right. Throwing out that piece on, guys. I, I can do anything. And he's asking for forgiveness to a guy that I defeated a few years back. Since his banning Team Rocket three years ago, our Giovanni has been missing. But we're certain he's been waiting for the right time for our revival. <laughs> Losing to you won't change the fact that you are unable to get into the radio transmitter room. You need my voice to unlock it! And he's... Oh, wow. He's running away. Hits the wall. It, yeah, okay. Alright, there are more ways to get your voice right here. Look at this, this is Murkrow. Hail Giovanni! Murkrow is mimicking the voice of a trail. You may be able to... That's right. This guy right here is going to be able to... Yeah, open the door for us. Okay, so let's go follow that Murkrow. Yeah, Petrel did it. Yeah, he didn't think that was going to happen. You should probably put that in top 10 uh, enemies' uh, biggest betrayals. That right there was the biggest betrayal of them all. Okay, so we're following this Murkrow wherever it goes. And actually, hold on. While I'm doing that, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with the... Actually, hold on. Let's put Relic in front so we could still get a little bit of loving because it's still in the daytime. And let's go right downstairs right here. I'm hoping, maybe, I don't know. And there's that Murkrow. Hail Giovanni! Oh yeah, he's following. He's going straight to the freaking uh, what you call it? Uh, he's going straight to the uh, to the room right here, the boiler room. Where in the heck are you? Actually, he's not right there. Okay, so we're gonna be going down right here. We're gonna be going upstairs, upstairs, downstairs, whatever stairs we're gonna be going. And there you are. 
The password is Hail Giovanni. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and follow this guy. Now, we're close. Before that happens, let's go ahead and switch out again and put Nessie up front because, yes, it's going to be a battle. And I'm just going to give uh, Lance a preview of what is to come. The password is Hail Giovanni. Mercru screamed the password, mimicking the voice of Petrel. The voice recognition system unlocked the door. Wow, that was the huge, big betrayal. Going forward right here, Ariana says, Hold it right there! Oh, damn. Okay. We can't let a brat like you do uh, as you please forever. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again, making a lesson, you see? So it's time to finish you. Whoever strong, or however strong you may be, if the two of us fight at the same time, you'll have no chance of winning. Don't you agree? Not really. I really could beat you both. Hands behind my back. Hehehe. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Now get ready to get thrash. And here comes Lance, and he's like, hold it! A two-on-one battle? That's so unfair. Typical Team Rocket to be sneaky. Allow me to to join this battle. But I kind of don't want you to battle with me. Come on, what the hell, man? What? You had an accomplice? Where is your sense of dignity? As intern boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how, how wrong it or how wrong it is to meddle in, with Team Rocket. Alrighty, so here we go. Going up against Ariana Grande right here. And her her crony, the, uh, the, the Team Rocket run right here. And, uh, well, we got some pretty good Pokemon right here. He's got a level 40 Dragonite, and I got myself a Nessie right here. Alright, maximum effort. There's a Thunder Attack, and Arbok has just been wiped out. Nessie grows to level 22 without doing anything, and, well, let's go ahead and not teach it Rain Dance for the time being, because I'm not trying to do anything like that. So, look at that. Relic grows to level 18. Surf Attack. The slight damage to Dragonite, and well, here comes Gloom. Let's go with an Ice Shard right here. Going first, getting this Pokemon first. Look at that, and uh, here comes a Fly Attack, and comes the Mega Drain. Oh crud! So yeah, I am truly the weakest Link right now, and Nancy's getting its butt kicked. So let's go with the Surf Attack. Fly attack onto that Gloom. Wow, I am outmatched. You have a Dragonite at level 40, bro. Not fair. But look at that. I get my first faint. Yeah, okay. And here comes that Murkrow. And Grimer coming out. So let's just go ahead and just surf. I don't really care if I hit a Dragonite or not. But this guy going with the Pursuit destroys my Pokemon. Really? Okay, so that's two Pokemon down. Alright, flip vote for the win right here. Let's go with the Thunder Shock to Murkrow. And yes, he picks a different Pokemon, and this guy's just wiping out everybody. Well, <sighs> yeah, I'm feeling uh, outmatched right now. Oh my god. And. Okay, so let's go again. He's gonna fly. I'm gonna defeat this guy with one Thunderbolt or Thunder Shock, and look at that. Yes. Okay, so that's three to two, or two to two probably, I don't even know. And Relic grows to level 19, and we defeated this guy. Dragonite is still up, uh, up in the sky right there. So after defeating these guys, you're going to be like, but that's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> well... Okay. Sorry, Draven. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. All there is left to do is to turn off the odd radio signal. And, of course, he's going to be looking left and right. And, uh, well, unfortunately for us, we're going to have to make all three of these electrodes faint. And, yeah, he's like, this machine is causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrodes faint. Faint. That should stop the machine from transmitting the strange signal. It's no fault of the electrode, so it must be. It makes me feel sad. Draven, let's split the job. Well, maximum effort, I guess. Uh, crud. Okay, so let's go ahead and use Hercules on this this occasion right here. Wow, should have brought more revives. All right, let's go. 
Now, be aware that these electrodes will try and self-destruct, so that right there will cause a huge problem. And they are pretty fast too, so look at that, Spark Tech. Oh jeez, and uh, look at that, Paralysis. Go figure. Okay, come on, and there's that rollout attack. Good gravy. Yeah, we're getting our butts kicked. Look at that. And Electro has been defeated. And people are gaining levels and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do right now is... Uh, well, I'm going to heal my Pokemon right here because... Well, why not? Paralysis heal. Does the trick. And you know what? Let's go ahead and use a Super Potion. Or not, not, not a Hyper Potion, but... Let's add a Super Potion for added measure right here. Alright, there we go. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish these guys off. Okay. Let's see. Here we have another Electrode, level 23. Let's go. Brick Break again, and jeez, come on, please do not paralyze me. No, he did not. So there goes that Brick Break. Nearly takes this guy out, so let's go with a Horn Attack. And that won't do any well, because we're not really a special attacker right there. Look at that. Alright, so that's two down. One more to go. And I'm trying to touch this, touch this guy right here. Okay, so here we go, another Pokemon, and all right, Hercules. Now let's try Horn Attack first, and ooh, that Screech Attack does not fare well right now. And wow, wow, now that's a wow. Okay, <laughs> getting paralyzed every freaking time. There we go with the Brick Break, and God dang this Electrode. And, wow, 1 HP. So close. Man, we really struggled in this one right here. Alrighty, so we defeated all three Electrodes. And, well, what does a good old Lance has to say right here? That uh, signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the best. Let me thank you on behalf of all Pokemon. And, oh, yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I have no need for it. We obtained the H of 5 which is probably Waterfall, probably, I don't know, is it? Yes, that is Whirlpool. Teach it to a Pokemon that cro the, 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 to get across the water, but keep this in mind, you can only use it outside of battle with, uh, you can only uh, use it outside of battle with the badge from the Mahog Mahogany Gym. Draven, the journey of becoming a Pokemon champion is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? Hell yeah. I see. No, you're right. If you would give up that easily, you would have never chased that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. Alrighty. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Okay, um, well, do I have an escape rope? No. Coming unprepared as always, good old Draven uh, never is prepared. So that's pretty much that for this episode. Damn near 40 minute long episode, probably because of the, the whole switch training and all that stuff. And, well, in our next episode, we will be going up against the Mahogany City Gym Leader and, well, our mama was calling us. Of course, she's going to be giving us some kind of rare item and all that stuff. So, yeah, we're going to stop right here, guys, in the next episode, Mahogany City Gym. We might struggle, but guess what? We like the grind. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.